Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to replace the CV axles in this uh, Hyundai um, Accent. It's a 2001 model. Mainly two reasons that you'd want to do that. One is because when you make sharp turns, you can hear the CV axles popping. Number two, the, board, the boots are torn and you don't want to rebuild them. The wheels and the hubcaps are held on and that uh, blocks you from getting the CV axle nut off so you got to take the wheels off then you can get to the CV axle nut so what I normally do is bust that CV axle bolt loose before taking the wheels off so that's probably going to double my work there for a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the car up I'm going to take the wheel off in the hubcap then I'm going to put the wheel back on, lower the car, break that CV axle bolt loose, then uh, jack the car back up and remove the wheel, take the lower control arm loose, and then remove the CV axle bolt, then uh, slide the CV axle out of the transmission, put the replacement in, and then reverse the procedures. So let's get started. These are the tools I use to do the axle job on this Hyundai Ascent. I got a torque wrench, a pry bar, if you're going to try to get the lower control arms out of the knuckle assembly, I wasn't able to do it. Small hammer, uh, preferably a light sledge, four foot breaker bar, your lug nut tool, your jack, your jack stand, your jack tool, 19 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter boxed in if you're going to try to get that lower control arm out of the knuckle a half inch ratchet i use a half inch breaker bar i also got the uh, three eighths inch ratchet and two 17 millimeter some anti-seize um, the needle nose pliers a flat tip screwdriver you also want to get the axle that you're going to replace and try to get new carter pins as well I did not get new carter pins so I had to reuse my old ones which is not really good set the parking brake block the wheels on both sides front and back so the car doesn't roll on me jack the car up remove the hubcap uh, snug the nuts back on and I lowered the car back on the ground now I'm going to remove this carter pin, straighten it out with a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers, tap it out of there. Alright, now I have the pin out. Next, I'm going to break that bolt loose. I'm going to try to do it with a torque wrench so I can try to measure what torque is on there because I do not know the proper torque value. I'm going to search it, but I don't know. So I'm going to try to break it loose with a torque wrench and get the value from that. Okay, I put the 32 millimeter socket on there. My torque wrench is 150 foot pounds. It exceeds that. So I'm going to go ahead and break it loose. My standard tool for breaking axle nuts loose is a half inch breaker bar, the socket, and then a four foot cheater. So let me go ahead and see if it'll come loose. It did come loose counterclockwise. So now I'm going to jack the car up, remove the wheel, and take the lower control arm loose. Okay, I have the car jacked up. I have the jack stand in place under the frame where I want it. Now I'm going to remove the wheel. There's an 18 millimeter nut holding the lower control arm on. I could not get that to come loose. So the nut come loose a little bit and stopped. So I couldn't get that out. So now I'm going to release the knuckle from the upper strut assembly and uh, try to get this assembly to pivot down away from the vehicle that way so I can get this axle out. So I'm going to remove these two bolts. They both have 17 
millimeter on both sides. Okay, I have the knuckle assembly loose. Now I'm gonna pull this nut off of here and see if I can get that the pivot enough to get this axle to slide out of this hub assembly. The knuckle assembly did pivot out of the way enough to get that axle out, but be careful you don't damage your brake lines. So now I'm gonna go in there and see if I could get that axle to pop out of the transmission. I'm gonna pull on it with my hands first. If that don't work, I'll uh, drive a screwdriver as a wedge in between the, the joint and the transmission to pop it out of there. And I have a drop cloth under it in case any transmission fluid comes out. It was a little difficult getting this axle loose. So what I did, I wedged a, a tool between this nut here and this little tab there and I popped it out loose so now the axle should pull the rest of the way out it did pop out pretty easy I used a flat tip screwdriver to give it a little bump so now I'm gonna compare the new one to the old one and put the put the new one in okay I got the new one next to the old one they look very similar in size so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in place get under the car and pop that in Make sure it's all the way in, seated against the transmission. No fluid came out, so that's good. And then I'll get this side and spin it into the hub. On this side, I normally put anti-seize on the splines or in the hub spline so that that thing doesn't get stuck in there. On this side, you want to make sure that this thing is extra clean and lint-free since it goes into the transmission. On the driver's side, it looks like a different manufacturer and the end of it's a little different where it doesn't have a seal but it did come with a new nut no new carter pin so it's always strange and exciting so clean off this end make sure it's spotless and dust free and then uh, put this one in lock it in place and finish it up now this side popped right in it felt like it clicked I'm gonna try to pull it out softly make sure it don't come out with just a minor tug. See, I need that to pop in there better. Evidently, the clip didn't seat. So I'm gonna pop that in so that that clip seats. Because I don't want that coming out. If it comes out, it's going to shut the car down. It'll act like a transmission is locked up. So try to get that all the way in so that the clip ring snaps in there. I tighten that ball joint nut back down and I have anti-seize on the spline. I got it lined up. Now I'm going to slide it in to the hub assembly and start that nut on there. Okay, I got the shaft almost the whole way through the wheel hub assembly. I put that lower bolt in the strut assembly. Now I'm going to push it up and put that upper bolt in there and torque those on. Okay, so I tightened the nut down with that... Uh, not so long half inch drive next I'm gonna put the wheel on snug the lug nuts lower the car to the ground then I'm gonna torque that nut on all the way all right another source of information stated that this bolt should be torqued between 160 and 195 so what I'm gonna do is torque it to 150 since that's the limit on my torque wrench and then I'm going to line up the quarter pin hole and tighten it until the quarter pin hole is aligned. So here we go. Okay, at 150 that hole was visible. I would have never made it to the next hole at 190. I would have been way over that. So I backed it up to the hole. So I'm probably at about 140. Nonetheless, it's real tight and I'm going to get the quarter pin in there. Okay, I have the pin in it's best to install new pins if you're not given a new pin you got to go back with the old one so try to remember to get a new pin now i'm gonna jack the car up a little bit take the lug nuts off put the hub cap on secure the wheel and take the car for an alignment and i'll be all done if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that i post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, 
and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.